Len, let me give you two positions that uh, people defend vigorously about consciousness. One, mainly, mainly a lot of brain scientists, would say consciousness somehow, is somehow emergent out of the properties of the brain. We know a lot about it. We're learning more. We certainly don't know everything, but it'll eventually we will, we will discover that. Others, mainly philosophers, but some brain scientists too, would say no matter how much you go and, and learn about the brain, uh, it, certainly in terms of current physical law, you will never ever explain the inner subjective feeling that what we sense internally. And therefore consciousness, whatever it happens to be, is irreducible in some form. Where are you on this uh, bimodal approach to consciousness? I guess I'd met agnostic. Um, I believe that the conscious is a state of the system. So it's completely determined by the state of the system. But the question of the qualia and, and what does it mean to, to experience red or blue or pain or love, I, I, I would hesitate to say we're going to explain that what it means. I, I, I believe we can explain how we will be able to explain how it arises. And we're making a lot of progress now with studying the neural systems in the brain and right. hormones and the effect of hormones. And we see, starting to see the mechanics. But even if we see the mechanics, what does that tell us? You know, there's the nematode C. elegans. It's 959 cells. We have a complete map of its neural network. And what do we know about it? How many neurons? 300 and something, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know nothing about it. So we have a map. Now we've understood. This happens, right. that happens. Do we know how it feels when it sees food? Or <laughs> it doesn't see, but whenever it gets, you know, we don't know yeah. anything. So knowing that the correlation between feeling in love and what's, you know, suppose we had that, that, that kind of map for your neurons. So we, we have, oh, here's Leonard's brain when he sees a Snickers bar. <laughs> well, okay, so we would know that. Is that I, I happen to like Snickers bars. So, <laughs> so, so um, we would know that, that's, that that state represents my feelings if I'm hungry and I see, mm, right, see that right, snack, right? right. Uh, so what does it tell, what, what is the feeling? It still doesn't tell me what is the feeling. Yeah. And, and so since... I have no idea how we could get at that. I'm not willing to say that, that we're going to explain what that is. But I do believe that it is theoretically possible to find the correlations between the, you know, the neural correlates of different feelings. It doesn't mean that that's not the same as saying that I explain the feeling. Yeah, but that's, that's a huge difference. It's a huge difference because you can explain by understanding the total uh, structure of, uh, of uh, crystals or water or different things, all the properties of it, and that it, it's completely explainable. But this inner feeling that we have, this qualia, that's, that's the big issue. Is, is that able to be expressed in the laws of physics ultimately that we know today? I'm, I'm not sure that's the best analogy because... Uh Okay, I can, if I know all the molecules, state of all the molecules in water, I can explain the water wave, right? And of course, we have macroscopic theory, so we can explain it on a different scale. Right, but right. but suppose I can tell where all the molecules are in all their states, right. I can explain the water wave from a microscopic right. level. Yeah, the wetness. Uh, well, the yeah. Um, and, you know, there's no wetness with one water molecule, but right. there is when you have right. a lot of them. Right. So right. I can right. explain how that arises right. and what wetness right. is, and right. I can tell you all of that. Right. 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 Same thing with your brain, theoretically. If right. I was God right. and, and I could map out all your neurons mm -hmm. in their state, mm -hmm. I could tell you what you're going to do. Right. I, I could do just like with the water wave. The water, I would say the water wave is going to go like this. It's going right. to break. It's going right. to make this wet. I could say that Robert's going to get up. He's going to nod right. his head. He's going to do exactly. this. I, so, so, so that analogy is still there. Right. All that is, right. is still there. But, but there's the an feeling, extra step. I don't know, maybe a water wave is feeling something, and we, don't, we can't explain that either. I mean... I mean, that seems like a pretty weak read to lean on if, if, if that's I mean, the claim. The, well, what I'm saying, I can explain the physics. Now, now, right, now, right. now, what is the feeling of right. it? I, I mean, I'd, my, until we can translate that to a physics or to a no, science we're question. This, I think I, that's I, right. I, that the, the, the analogy to water and to the brain, we get all the physics correct. The question yeah. is, is there something else on the consciousness side? Uh, it's unlikely on the water side. You're postulating maybe the water feels something. I mean, that's an ex extreme position. Other people have said that. I may not agree with that, but other people have said that. I think you said that kind of well, humorously. But, 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 yeah, but there's a did whole you, Did you say that humorously? I said that humorously, okay, but, I, really but, but let me... Let me, let me Do you believe let, that the water may possibly well, feel Well, I believe something? that... The, Do you think there's uh, any chance whatsoever, any chance whatsoever, the water could really feel something? I can't see how that can be. 
So as right, a scientist, it's hard, hard, you know, no, but, but let, 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 let me take do. it further, though. They some might. people do. Well, I can see why they would say that, because there's a whole spectrum. Maybe it's, we're all laughing that the water doesn't feel anything. Does the C. elegans feel something? Well, Does a grasshopper feel something? Does a rabbit feel something? Does a monkey feel yeah, something? It, it, so, so, so there's a, a whole gradient. spectrum, yeah, and, 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 and who knows what is what does it mean to feel something? Right. So until we can answer what that means, I, I don't. It's, it, it's a very squishy yeah, yeah, question. Yeah, but, you, but, but it's Will not. Will we a ever be able to explain it? We can't. I can't. You can't tell me. It's what not I'm a squishy to question. We, may, we 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 have to confront it because that's that's a fundamental issue. And if you're not willing to confront that, you're 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 sticking your hand your head in the sand. Well, science may be able to confront it, but one step at a time. It's like t- telling Faraday to write down Maxwell's equations. <laughs> so you know, Faraday, they're figuring out what is electricity, what is magnetism. Do you are think they related? that's a, do you think that's a full analogy? Because that's a fundamental point. Because some would say that that's not a full analogy. That's a partial analogy. We don't, There's a re- residual in consciousness that yeah. is not in any of those. Those who are systems. saying that are just purely speculating. We don't know enough about it to say it. So if you're a philosopher, you're free to speculate. If you're a scientist, you have to be more careful. Okay, but now many scientists would say, you know, categorically no, that there is nothing else in consciousness. There's no re- re- residue. That once we do understand the totality of the system, we will understand the qualia. You're not willing to say that either. Not until you tell me what qualia really are. Well, I don't have to tell I, I, you. You well, feel you it. You, you feel it. You, you're inside. I, I, you, to I, say that you have I to understand it, it further, that's, the, 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 that, that's, a, uh, that, that's redundant. Because if you understand it, then you feel it. That, that becomes no, I can't even define it. Circular. I can't even define it. But you know what it is. No, I don't. You know? I, I feel something. You, you it doesn't feel mean it. that I can write down a scientific definition of it. Well, but, but that's the point. Can you ever be able to, rep- to, 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 to write that's, a scientific definition in the laws of physics as we know today? That's, that's the point. not the point. That's the question. And I agree. It's a question. I'm saying I don't have an answer. I don't think anybody does. Okay, but how, how do you make progress on that? You try to understand uh, the physical brain. You try to understand how... But how we give you that. You've, you've solved the Once brain. Once I've solved that, ask me, and then maybe I'll have a better answer. You, can, you can't... I, I you haven't... Can't, no one solved that. So. If you, if you, you cannot imagine that if you, if you will have solved that problem... Put yourself in the position of having solved I can't, that problem. Because, uh, you put, the, you the did it for water. Solving, you did it for water, right? You put yourself in the position for understanding water. Yeah. Did you? Yes, and, and you felt good about it. I, I, the, the point is that as science progresses to the point where we can understand how uh, the brain produces the, the feeling, okay, right. then hopefully we'll learn more and be able to understand what it means to have the feeling. But at this very early stage, I don't think that we know enough to, to, to um, make an you know, informed statement. So the, the reason to study the brain and how and how different interconnections, and you know, whether this theory of integrated information is true or some other theory, once, once we have a theory and we understand how that works, I'm hoping we can ask the question, what does it mean to have a feeling? But at least me, maybe there's other people you can talk to who, who know, and you should talk to them. But for, you're asking me, and I say, we, I, don't think, I don't think we know enough, uh, and I, I don't know enough to answer that.